So, well, I'm here with my daughter. She knows that I'm a gardener. I'm a master gardener by training. A master gardener? gardener by training. I don't know what a master gardener well, is. Well, we're, there are different levels. I'd have what I call a soft master gardener <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay. Get around. Okay, okay, okay. Just so good. Yeah, Thank I you know. so much. So, my name's Ty. Eileen, nice to meet you. Eileen? I got a good friend named Eileen. Good. It's a good name. It is a good name. It is a good name. Is it spelled? The, how, it's a, how does I she spell it? I e i l e e n. That is the correct way. Okay, fantastic. We're on a we're on a great <laughs> note already. <laughs> so basically, uh, five minute timer. Uh, we talk about whatever you want to talk about. Normally, the best conversations are something that like really motivates you. Mm -hmm. Is there something that you find like everyone should do, or like a philosophy you left around your life around, or like? Something you find like really meaningful, anything like that, like something that's important to you. So I should ask you, why did you choose this location? Uh, it's just really peaceful. The people who walk by tend to be more in a pensive mode. Okay. And if I did this in like I've done this on campuses before, mm -hmm. and the kids there have to go to school when the bell like goes off, or they're like meeting a friend. This is like the people who come here have time to have like a really nice talk. So, well, I'm here with my daughter. She knows that I'm a gardener. I'm a master gardener by training. A master gardener, gardener by training. I don't know what a master gardener well, is. Well, we're there are different levels. I'd have what I call a soft master gardener. Training okay, okay. Because I don't, and I don't keep up with my certification every year. Although I probably meet the hour requirements for the number of volunteer hours I do for. Uh, uh, master gardening. For is this gardening. recognized by the state or is this like a... Well, I'm from the state of Pennsylvania. Okay. So, um, if master. I kept up with it, it would be acknowledged by one of our conservancies, but I do not have the state certification. Okay, okay. Which is, I really respect people who do it. It is a little bit harder and you have to know more anatomy and so forth. But I became a gardener because my family went through some difficult times. Oh. And so I worked through everything by redoing my yard. Uh -huh. And to give you an idea of what a difference it makes, I spent about $500 on this yard, and my real estate agent told me I would added $10,000 worth of value to my home for where I lived. That's good, though, And we lived right? here about four. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But that wasn't why I did it. I did it primarily to soothe my own soul, and I soothed my family's soul as well. But what is it about gardening that makes it soothing to, like, who I, you are, personhood, all that stuff. Well, when you, I think if you're having a bad day and you go and you sit out and you see birds flying around mm -hmm. or butterflies or the colors mm -hmm. or um, if there's a water feature, you have water. It's all just is a break from kind of the concrete jungle we can all be in. I can feel that. Can I throw something out at you? Sure. I normally ask questions that are just like... If someone said they like pretzels, I'd be like, "Do you like chips?" Or what about chips? Mm -hmm. or like stuff like just like a just a devil's advocate, but in like a nice way. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing like, could a blind person enjoy gardening? Absolutely, I think you could because the textures ah. of and the scents. Okay, okay. So there's other sensations other than sights, like birds and colors and stuff that you can get out of yeah. that you can find soothing, right? Is it? And they have adaptive gardens some places for people, for example, who may have physical limitations. Okay. They can do adjustments for that. Um, so I don't see why a blind person could. Can I ask you a weird question? No. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Come on. I'm thinking like you can get those joys out of gardening without having to become a master gardener, couldn't you? Oh, yes. So what motivated you to go to that level? Um, I started doing volunteer work because I noticed I really only remember the names of plants if I've worked with them. Okay. Or if they really strike some fancy in me, I may remember. Like, they really, I just like, wow, I just love that plant, and I, I learn it. Um, it's probably the way that a lot, I have, my family members are mu amateur musicians, but. Okay. They, like, if they hear a song they like, they learn how to do it. I kind of learn how to grow plants that I like. So as I was volunteering, um, somebody's, one of my peers was going to go through Master Carney. I was like, oh, come on, come do it with me. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. How, how deep does your level of understanding of like a plant go? Do you like go to like meta metabolics and stuff like that? Or you is it doing just... training, but I don't remember uh. all of that. I do remember um, more of the 
generalities of it. Mm. Um, and that's why you have the internet, because if you know what you're looking for, you don't have to remember all the details. You can always go look it up again. Okay, okay. I guess my last question is, uh, what would you say is, for you, a personal benefit from, you know, gardening? Like, if you have to condense it down to just one thing, like, this is why everyone should do it, but this is what, th we discussed that already, like, you can get a lot of soothing, but for you personally, what did you get out of it, like, that you think no one else could? Like, what's your unique experience with gardening that you got? That Gosh, no one I'm else happy. Get? I don't think any, I don't think that's true. I think whatever I get, anybody else could get. Okay. If it was one word, I'd say meditative. Mm, I like that. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Eileen, thank you so much for the chat. Well, congratulations. Really Have fun. It. Hopefully yeah. you can learn about a lot of fun things. I do. I really do. It's really <laughs> nice. I also learned that I can talk to anybody too. <laughs> you can too. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's, 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 it's my Irish upbringing. Oh, what? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. You guys have a great time. Thank you.